Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna change the oil in my C7 Corvette. I know, I know, it's not a Ferrari, but it's still actually a really cool car. In fact, I love this car. It's due for an oil change, the computer tells me so, which is kinda nice. It's like, oil life, 0%. So, we're gonna change the oil on this thing. I'm gonna say it's not gonna be hard, but then I'm probably just condemning myself, so I'm gonna knock on wood. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too terrible. We'll find out. Can't stop, stop. Can't stop, stop. So the only thing that I'm not sure about is how much oil it actually takes. So I saw online one video said six and a half quarts and another one said nine quarts. So I bought 10 quarts of Pennzoil 5W30. Let's get this car up in the air and start changing some oil. So like I said, we got 10 quarts of 5W30 Pennzoil. This is the good synthetic stuff. And then we have a Mobile One M1113A filter. This should be the filter that we need. There's jack points right there, basically where the door meets the rest of the chassis and then one back there just in front of the rear wheel. I've got my quick jacks in place. I've become so spoiled now that I have a lift. It's so nice. Oh, it's so easy. Oh yeah. So before I uh, started filming, I actually let the car warm up for a few minutes to get the oil temperature up. That way it kind of stirs up any nastiness in there and it should float a little bit easier. I'm gonna undo this cap right now just so that there's no air pressure or whatever when we start draining it. Here's the drain plug. It's a 15 millimeter socket. Got the oil filter right here. So we're gonna place my oil catch can over here and pray that we kind of got in the right place. So we'll break this thing loose. Oh man. Why is it really in there? Well, maybe I can't fit the breaker bar with the extender. Let's just try a regular old ratchet. Hopefully this thing's not tightened down with a couple ugga duggas. They really don't give you a whole lot of room, do they? There we go. Oh man, of course it's a couple ugga duggas. Good lord. By the way, these things are only supposed to be tightened to like 20 foot pounds or so, so this is way over tightened. God. All right. Obviously this is gonna be some hot oil. So we're gonna try and keep our fingers pretty clear and just hopefully it doesn't splash so much. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, we have a problem, which is that it's draining kind of in two streams, see? Hopefully they would converge shortly. <laughs> so once this thing gets a lot of oil in here, it's gonna get really heavy. Ah, oh, much better. Two have become one. While the oil's coming out, we're gonna get the filter loose. I got a universal adapter because I don't have that specific size. So this should do pretty good. Hopefully you can at least break it loose. Assuming they didn't do, oh man, okay. Yeah, that filter was, at least that was on there pretty loose. So they put like 50 Ugga Duggas on the stupid train plug, but the oil filter is like barely even tight. That's kind of funny. All right, oh, that's what I was waiting for. We'll let that drain for a little while. There we go. Alright, let's let that drain for a little while. While we're waiting for the oil to drain, pour a little oil into the filter here, just to kind of preload it a little bit. Ooh, don't drip on my bench. There. And then of course, lubricate the gasket with some of the oil. That should make it so it comes off nice and easy next time. Come on, drain faster. Drain faster! So while we're waiting for it to finish draining, since we got the new filter ready to go we'll throw that up there and we're gonna hand tighten it since uh unfortunately my filter wrench is kind of a one way well, you know it doesn't really go uh tightening it just goes for loosening make really sure you don't cross thread these because that would really really suck there we go it's pretty good i don't want to go too crazy because then we won't be able to get it off next time that's probably about good enough i mean we've got the vast majority of the oil out so let's cap it up and tighten it down Unfortunately, I can't get my torque wrench in there because it's too big. That's what she said. Or he said. We're gonna just tighten it down, hand tight. Not quite the ugga duggas that were tightened before. That should be plenty. It's only supposed to be, I think, 20 foot pounds, 22 foot pounds on the uh, filter and 20 foot pounds or 18 foot pounds on the, the drain plug. So we're not talking about very, very tight stuff. We're talking pretty loose. Now we just gotta refill this thing. Okay, we buttoned it back up. Now we need to lower it down so we can actually add the oil. 
Although I suppose we could actually add the oil while it's up to make sure it's not gonna leak. So maybe we'll just do that. Just feeling how light that is, I'm gonna start with like maybe four quarts and then check it because it just, that feels lighter than that five quarts. So anyway, let's pour it in 5W30 Pens oil. Try not to spill too much. That's about four quarts. So let's take a reading. Now you are supposed to actually check the oil while it's warm, but uh, since we're topping it off, we're just gonna check it right now. Okay, that's a good sign. It's not even on the stick. So that's good. I think it is then gonna be most likely six and a half quarts. Let's add the rest of this. All right, added the full five quarts. Let's see what's at on the stick. It's just at the min, so let's add another quart or so. And it should be good. Yeah. Just below full, that's right where we wanna be. All right, good enough. So interesting enough, five and three quarters quarts. I guess it's got a little bit of room in the filter, so once we start it, it will go down a little, but that means the total capacity is just under six quarts. Cap back on. Get the car down, so we first raise up. Then for the quick jacks, you have to lift on the bar. So it sits like that, and like that, and now we just push down, down with you, yes, so simple. All right, last step is we got to reset the oil life indicator, so we'll start the car. So let's make sure we have oil pressure. Okay, we have oil pressure, good. See, it's saying service engine oil soon, so we'll dismiss that. Yeah, the hood's open too. We need to go into our little menu. Oil life. So I've heard you push and hold. There it is. That's it. That was easy. Can all manufacturers please take that from Chevy? All I have to do to reset the oil is push and hold this button on the oil life indicator. Why is it that everyone else has to have special computers and all this stupid crap? Look, see how it's a button. Look, I can probably do it again, ready? Oh, I do reset it again. Look at that. Yeah, GM, you got that right, thank you. All other manufacturers, do that in the future. Anyway, that's all you have to do, so now it's all set. Well, that was actually one of the easier cars I've worked on to change the oil, certainly, it was once it's up in the air it's just one plug one filter so to be sure this is the stingray model so it doesn't have the z71 it doesn't have the dry sump any of that cool stuff regular old oil pan regular drain plug none of the sump stuff checking the oil is easy you know the dipstick just goes right into the pan don't have to worry about the sump and having it be running for x number of minutes and blah 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 blah, blah whatever stuff so i did warm up the engine let it settle for a little bit and then checked it again and i had to add about a half a quart so it was actually six and a half quarts just like they said spot on so that was cool that always makes you feel a little bit better when it's like oh hey it actually did exactly what it's supposed to I know I know it's not a Ferrari but it's still a really cool car you're probably thinking hey didn't you sell the 430 yes uh, I've been sitting on this video for a while so I'm not planning to release it for quite a while so by the time this video comes out it's gonna be like a long time later so just you know, deal with it, okay? Deal with it. Today is like May 5th or, no, May 6th. So that's how long this video has been just kind of sitting in my back pocket. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you for liking and sharing this video. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It really does help me out. All those things help put me up in the rankings, which means YouTube puts out more of my videos, which means I'm more motivated to work on them. And I appreciate that. We're gonna be doing a lot of car stuff, so you guys are gonna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.